Hey guys, it's Nicole. Um, just a quick video today on some stuff that I have been really wanting to do lately and I decided to just go ahead and do it and I figured um, I'll kind of go ahead and just throw it in with my process videos as well. Um, so two things. I can't be the only person who does this. You find other scrapbookers online, you absolutely love their work and you think to yourself, Oh, I could, you know, I could totally do that. I could scrap lift it. Or, oh, I love that layout. I really want to scrap lift it. And scrap lifting is perfectly okay. I am one of these people that I, I can't just sit down and sort of come up with something all on my own. It's never been how I scrapbook. It's probably never going to be how I scrapbook. I like doing kits with instructions. I like scrap lifting. I, that's just what I like to do. Um, I will say though, that if you ever scrap lift somebody and you post what you made anywhere online, same thing with cards. You're, um, it's always a good idea to say, you know, this is where I found my inspiration and link back to it. Um, I had a video, I want to say last summer. It's one of my three scrappy boys um, design team layouts. I scrap lifted one of Jen Gallagher's Gallagher Gallagher, one of those. Um, one of her layouts that she had done, I want to say back when Two Peas was still open, and it's perfectly okay to do that. I had even sent her, I think I had um, linked her name or I sent her a message or an email or something and I just told her, hey, I just want to give you a heads up. I loved this page. I scrap lifted it. I did a process video on it and she actually sent me a message back and said, you know, she loved it and, and you know, thank you for giving credit back to her. So I am sort of deciding, you know, all these images that I have kind of saved on my computer and all these things that I was like, oh, I really want to scrap lift that or I really want to maybe take the layout of it but kind of do my own thing. I am, I'm going to do it. And there's a couple reasons why. Um, I tend to scrap as many pictures on a layout as I possibly can, typically a two-page layout. I scrapbook a lot of events and I do some everyday stuff typically if I've taken a bunch of photos but I'm never gonna be one of these scrapbookers who scraps one photo on a one-page layout and that's that's what's trendy right now that works for people I watch those videos I think it's great for me it just doesn't work my mind doesn't work that way I creatively can't think that way um, so all these like single images that I've taken throughout the the month and throughout the years I'm just kind of like okay what am I going to do with them and in the back of my mind over the last uh, probably six to nine months I just had kind of decided okay anything that was you know anywhere between three and twenty photos that I had taken I'm gonna do you know layout for any of these other ones I'm gonna kind of just in the back of my mind say okay I'm gonna do a month in review with those and just slip that into my album and then it I was going through some stuff that I'd saved on my computer and I remembered that um, Nicole McGork had gone through and I want to say these are her pages that she did for the calendar year of um, 2010 and I remember she did a couple process videos for these and it was like a light bulb went off and I was like yes that would probably work for me and then I was like okay you know save the file put it away and I kind of never went back to it now I'm kind of sort of feeling like it doesn't bother me not to be caught up with my photos, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, really, I need to kind of spend a little bit more time, like, actually getting my photos off my computer and into my books and and enjoy them. So I sat down, and I had printed these out, and then I went through um, a couple months on my hard drive and just kind of went through my photos, and let me grab, let me grab my notes one second. Okay. Um, so basically I sat down and this is just offcuts from some some cardstock that I had. I went through and I would pull up a month of photos on my um, my external hard drive and I would start out with telling myself, okay, I'm gonna make a month in review layout and I hope this is focusing. I might have to um, And then what I did was I went through and I looked at all my photos and I said, okay, I'm gonna I I had already done this layout, so I wrote down the Boulder City Playground. Um, the, I had pictures from the Mission Hill Splash Pad. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a page for that. Um, Haley Hendrick Splash Pad. 
uh, my husband's birthday. We went to a tour at our local dairy, we went to an indoor playground, we went to another indoor playground, and then um, for this month we had uh, professional pictures done for family pictures, so I will have like 10 double page layouts just on that. But so I kind of went through and I was like, okay, these are the events that I for sure want to be separate and I took a bunch of photos for. Anything else I'm either going to not care about or I'm going to put it in a month in review. So then I know, okay, this is my checklist for September of 2014. Once I've done all this, I kind of feel like, okay, I've done it. I've documented these memories, move on. And so I literally went through September, October, November for 2014. I basically just went through everything. Some of them I had already done um, for my scrapbook generation kits that I get. And then there was some as I was going through them that I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure that I printed pictures for a scrapbook generation kit. Or I think these pictures will work for the formula as far as how they lay out their pictures and the sizes that they do a lot. So I kind of just made a note to myself to keep an eye out on my kits as far as matching those up. Um, and then I had even gone through and I had kind of made myself some sketches again based off of those sample pictures that I had printed off of Nicole McGork's blog. And then um, I just went into Photoshop and I think one of them I used to carry Bradford template. The other ones I just kind of resized to like little one inch things. Um, and those are here. And so even when I did it, I was like, okay, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be cutting these apart and I'm going to have paper between them. So I just kind of kept them separate on here so that when I got my prints back, I knew that. Um, for the most part, they printed out I'm very happy. Um, kind of kicking myself over this one just because I'm like, okay, seriously, Nicole, like, this is a 12 by 12 print. Like, where are you going to put, like, paper? And I was like, oh my, and I want to be able to, you know, type out just what is in the pictures. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I'm either going to need to um, just downsize the whole document in Photoshop and send it to be reprinted. I really don't want to have to go through and resize these all. I want to say these are probably an inch and a quarter. Um, no, these are these are almost two by two. So I'm not real sure how I went from this to this. I'm not sure if I started drinking at this point and I was just like, yeah, make them bigger. I don't know. This I'm gonna kind of hold off on. Um, so I went ahead and I, and I ordered these prints and then when I was putting them on the 12 by 12 canvases in Photoshop, I was getting this extra space where I knew it wasn't enough space for me to do another photo collage. And I had, um, I didn't print them out, but I want to say last year, she, uh, Nicole McGork had done some stuff for Simple Stories and when Simple Stories released their baby line, not the one from a couple years ago, but the newer one. I bought everything from it, and I almost want to say I bought duplicates. It was my favorite baby line, and it was my favorite Simple Stories line. And then she put up a video where she did two layouts with the collection, and I was like, oh yeah, totally going to scrap lift that, like not change anything, loved it completely. So since I was kind of already in that mindset of scrap lifting and everything, I went ahead and resized the photos for those specific layouts and just dumped them in this empty space. They would have fit on a 4x6 print, but I was just, I want to get them done and get them ordered. Um, I want to say the last time that I had big prints like this done, I printed them out at Costco and I was not, not thrilled. Um, let me grab them. Okay. These, now granted, some of the ones where, like, okay, I'm not happy that the bottom got cut off, and some of these, okay, my grandmother's house is dark, so even with my um, DSLR camera, they can get a little grainy just because her house is so dark, but this was taken outside, this was taken with my good lens, and it is, it's not clear, like, they don't, they don't look good. 
I'm still going to use them because I paid for them and I paid a lot for the, the prints. But I was not a fan. So I was like, okay, I really don't want to print them at Costco again. I just, I don't like the weight of the paper. I don't like the way that the photos look. Um, so I started looking online and I thought, okay, I'm going to go with Shutterfly because I've ordered their 4x6 photos before and they had good pricing. I uploaded my photos and when I went to order 12x12 12 12 prints, they were basically saying that they were going to take... Okay, if this is my image in Photoshop and it's 12x12, 12 12, they were going to cut off a little bit of the bottom and a little bit of the top or they were going to sort of stretch the image and that did not make sense to me because I'm like, this is a 12x12 12 12 file and I'm printing it at 12x12, 12 12, so I decided I don't want to mess with that, especially because you can't really return them. Um, the other one, I can't remember where else I looked. I want to say it was probably Costco or somewhere that I could have locally picked it up and it was sort of the same thing the way that their software was sort of forcing you to edit it and like the so I just went on to Google and I searched um, 12 by 12 prints and one of like the third or fourth ones down to pop up was this scrapping simply well I'd never heard of them I'd never ordered from them so I decided okay I'm gonna go ahead and upload my photos and and see sort of if their software kicks me back into saying that it's going to cut apart. Um, I love the prints. L my photos are very clear and these are sucky cell phone pictures for most of these. So I'm very, very happy. I'm going to put my uh, naked toddler on the back. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I did have an issue that um, I uploaded, I joined on October 13th. You know, I registered for an account. I uploaded my stuff. I thought I ordered them, thought I had paid for them. About a week goes by and come to find out my photos did not go into their system. Um, they were having issues sort of backdooring into my account because I could see my pictures on their website. They couldn't see them. They hadn't printed out. Um, it's the 29th today and they were delivered yesterday. Um, very, very impressed with their customer service. The manager, I was on the phone with him for two or three days trying to figure out. They already knew they had an issue with PayPal. They didn't know they had an issue with their website. And it was sort of both things were kind of meeting and, and having an issue. And they mailed me these and I still have not been invoiced yet to pay for them. So I will be calling them and trying to figure out what's going on with that but they told me you know we're gonna print them we're gonna send them to, mail them to you and then we'll just we'll worry about your PayPal invoice later so I just wanted to um, tell you guys that if you're looking for 12 by 12 prints and I got Matt I would check out scrappingsimply.com very impressed with their customer service um, if you live in Utah they have stores in Orem and I don't remember where the other two are, that you could actually go pick them up in, in store. Shipping was only, it was $5 even. So it was $1.99 for each print, and then I paid $5 shipping. So it was $16.94 total for the six prints. So to me, that was, that was a good deal. It was the same price for Shutterfly, but I got them cropped the way I needed them to. So, just wanted to... Um, tell you about their print service and kind of um, that I'm going to, you know, be doing a, I guess, sort of a scrap lifting type of thing um, over the next couple weeks. Like, I definitely want to get through this stuff and then kind of see if I like this process. I think I will because I'm getting, you know, 50 to 60 photos done in a month and they're in my album and they're done and it's going to be a single page layout and only have you know, so much space to work with. So it should be quick, it should be easy. We will see though. So uh, keep an eye out for that and let me know if you have any questions. Bye!